Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. I hate it. Hey, yo, everyone. I'm EJ. You're you. Welcome to my channel. We're back. Enemies to lovers. Day whatever. I don't fucking know. Um, okay, so I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I recorded another day of this. I recorded like a few days of this even. I recorded two. And I do not remember what the fuck I was talking about because it was like literally three weeks ago, I think. And and and, and, and instead of just like going back and like re-recording audio or anything, I'm just going to keep going. We started summer. I bought some crops. I bought blueberries. I bought tomatoes. I bought hot peppers. I bought melons. I bought some spangles because those are good for giving gifts. Or I bought some hops because hops make so much fucking money in the summer. Y'all, we're just gonna keep going, you know? The past is the past, and you gotta move past it. That's what my dad always said. <laughs> okay, Shane is, ooh, sleepless. Everyone's got their summer looks. Oh, <gasps> wait. I just remembered, I think I got like a bunch of heart events in the last two days. So let's have a quick flashback. Oh, this is Penny's two heart event, okay. Oh, here, let me help you, Mr. Molnar. <gasps> Not the push! Penny! <clears throat> I could have done it myself, and I can suddenly move around on my own. I mean, okay. Were you watching us? Oh god, is this gonna have an effect on me? Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like you should have asked instead of assuming George wanted help, right? Like, allow people to have their self-determination. And if he doesn't want help, that's on him! That's his own thing, that's his own stuff. But like, don't decide for him. Oh my God, this is the right choice. I hate that. I hate this heart event. Penny, ugh. This George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. Well, maybe you should consider. That's not a fucking excuse. Sorry. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get too angry. Um, no, she literally shoved you out of the way. This is so fucking Penny. It must be difficult to grow old. I mean, yeah, it's just a different part of life. That seems like we should ignore the reality of aging. Agreed. The sooner we come to terms with our mortality, the more time we can spend li really living in the here and now. Also like growing old, that's an accomplishment. You survive for that long, good job. Penny's having a, an existential crisis. Honestly, good. I've got something great for you. This is for me, marvelous. A gentle little sunbeam woke me up this morning. I've never felt so refreshed. What the fuck? Oh god, he's so corny. I'm sorry, that isn't very interesting. Okay, I'm sorry, but like, that's so pretentious to be like, oh, I'm sorry if my things aren't, if my interests aren't interesting. Like, that sucks for you. I guess that could be like, sorry to tell you this if you're not actually interested in that. But it just, I just read it as like, hmm. Oh, you don't find that interesting? Hmm, that sucks. Wow. What's it like to be an uncultured swine? Oh, heart event. Yes. Two heart events to start the day. We love to see it. Oh, hi. Um, it's EJ, right? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes, you numbskull. I'm just enjoying this great weather, EJ. Hmm. Hey, go long. <laughs> that. That's pretty accurate. Why does it squish like that, though? Am I made of slime? I'm a little slimy boy. Kiss. Oh. I'm going to be the first professional grid ball player from the Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training in stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. Isn't he? Listen. How old is Alex? Because he is like, he talks about high school all the time and it's like, Sir, if you're not, I don't know, whatever, whatever. I believe in you. That seems like the obvious right choice. Thanks, EJ. I remember that. Yes. Oh, wow. Those were great. Um, okay, we're gonna keep going. So here we are. Okay, do I have anything? What's it, what? Oh, I need to find Mar Mary Lewis's shorts. Do I have two hearts with Marnie? Now we could add Marnie to this enemies to lovers because I fucking hate Marnie. I, should, I guess we should try to get some gifts for everyone if we're trying to get three stars, three hearts with everyone. So uh, let's just go, let's just go looking around for stuff. Two seconds later. Let's go to the mines. Let's go to the mines today. Okay, I need some iron so I can upgrade some tools and stuff. Um, I have a lot of copper. Oh, luck is not gonna be on my side today. Great. Well, you know what, luck's never on my side. 
I've had the longest week of my life. I work two other jobs in addition to content creation. I work at a cafe and I work catering. And I just like foolishly accepted a bunch of catering shifts without actually looking at my calendar and then realized that I accepted shifts later, too late, like for three days in a row, which is not great. Um, I need money. Okay. In the last three days, I've worked six shifts. So I'm in a kind of loopy, crazy, you know, like cute and sexy and like kind of tired mood. My love of my life. I will remember to cover. Why don't you cover my mouth with your mouth when I sneeze, Harvey? That's disgusting. Hey, farm guy, I've got a question for you. Do you think I'll ever turn pro? Um, maybe if you practice a lot. Yeah, well, I'm so good, I'm not going to have to practice all that much. Well, that is great. That's a great attitude to have, Alex. Okay, sweet peas. Everyone likes sweet peas, so I should definitely gift some, gift some sweet peas to people. Give some sweet peas to some sweet people. Oh, she's asleep. Look at her. This is very 90s, I have to say. I really like this, um, the vibes of this dream. Why are you here, mood? Dot, dot, dot. That reminded me of something, that I'm gay. Now I know why you're here. It's a sign. <laughs> What's the sign? That we need to be best friends forever? I love a dream sequence. She emerges, fully dressed, wearing shoes in her bed. Trash. There's something special about EJ. Our destinies will intersect. I'm here for it. Hey, sweet pea. Wait, Haley with all the piercings? Hot. I, I think he probably wouldn't like that because like toxic masculinity, probably. Ooh, why is masculinity gotta be toxic? Lots of sweet peas. Okay, this is lots of good gifting opportunities. The, the world's going to shit. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed. And I've just seen some of the worst takes in the world ever. Also, because of Survivor, there's been some very topical conversations on Survivor. And certain people, certain players, have not looked good in the conversations and have quite rightly been called out by people of the fandom. And of course, there's like the sect of people who are on Twitter and enjoy Survivor, but hate Survivor, you know? They like watch and they're like, I'm not watching because they have the audacity to put people of color on my TV and queers. No, how dare, you know? If you disagree with any of their opinions, you're vilified. And it's like, oh, I'm so sorry that you're being vilified for like not thinking that trans people are people. Oh my God, <laughs> what? You know exactly what they look like, by the way. Just saying. Die, 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 die. Oh wow, I'm dying. Speaking of dying, <laughs> it's me. Hey! The little suit sprites, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute, why do they have to kill me, you know? I do not have a lot of health already, and we are on the second floor of this, so that's great. Loves to die, that's me. I'm not gonna get killed by a fucking goo. Should I just, <gasps> okay. I think I have to go. This is ridiculous, wow. That was really bad, guy. <laughs> I did a really bad job. Has the explosion happened? Can I go to the mountain yet? There's an explosion that happens in the summer of year one. Yes, and it gives you access to the mountain. And then you can go to the mountain and you can go into the spa and gotcha, you can like replen all of your health. If you're bleeding out, just go to the spa. There we go. See, look, my wound has been fully patched, heal it's healed. I'm not splurting blood anymore. Now there is probably blood in this spa and they probably have to drain it and decontaminate it. But you know what? That is not my fucking problem. The fact that there's a bathhouse in Stardew Valley, kinky. And like, good for good for Concerned Ape, because he knew what his queer fans wanted, and it's a bathhouse. <laughs> this is a great day of romancing people. I don't know about you guys, but I always romance people in my personal life by going to a cave and almost dying. People find that very sexy. You know, I went through a phase one time where the YouTube algorithm was like, hey, you like hearing about caves and shit? Um, and I was like, I guess. And I just got recommended like the most horrifying videos about people dying in caves. And you know, that was a, that was an interesting time of my life. Adam Gettle wrote a really interesting musical actually about someone who gets trapped in a cave and dies. God, the listening to Sweeney Todd as a teen to watching cave videos pipeline is so real. No, oh, can you imagine if I accidentally went to sleep for the night? <laughs> Uh, maybe I should stay home today. Great. <gasps> I mean, 
If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Yeah. All these sweet peas. Let's go. Okay, let's go on a gifting spree. Let's brighten up some people's days. It's gloomy. Alex, does Alex like it? Okay, he does. Look at me thinking so little of Alex. Toxic masculinity? No, no. And then maybe let's just go fishing because we need some money, y'all. We need some money. 433 bells. Whatever. Gold. Who cares? Oh, Jesus. Not me having two. I have two empty iced coffees on my desk. It's just, it's like. I'm okay with gay people, but like, stop shoving your homosexuality in front of us by having two ice co empty iced coffees on your desk, you know? Should I give something to you? Let's give you a, uh, hi. Uh, it's not, it, I just, it, this looks special. It, it's not like, Elliot, come out. Let me come in or, okay, there we go. <gasps> a heart event! Welcome to my humble world, Shaq. He has a giant piano that is like extra wide. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. For as long as I can remember, I want to become a writer. Have I told you that? You mentioned it. That's why I live out here by myself. I figure a lonely life at the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Not how it works, babe. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I could never be a writer. Fuck them. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there's a thousand who fail. Such pessimism. It's sickening. That is... A quote. I will have things to say about this. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, EJ? You've got that spark. Sorry, I'm just a player character. Project whatever you want onto me. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. I hate it. Question, what kind of books do you like? Mmm, a lot. I probably like mystery. Mystery, huh? It's definitely an exciting genre. I remember that. I'm starting to understand Elliot. I like the appeal of Elliot. Because right now I am feeling like a little flutter in my stomach. I hate it here. Well, enough talk about me. Wow, oh, self-aware. Hmm, you probably know a lot about plants, don't you? I guess, yeah. Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Now, okay, let me see. Okay, this is still to help you, Elliot, but you know what? It is engaging some of my interests, right? Hey, babe. Okay, I... He's artsy. I'm kind of into it. This is for me? Marvelous. Yeah, of course, babe. Thanks for talking with me. I'll be thinking about what you said. Oh, I get it. I get it! Wow. Not Elliot, like, speaking to things I was just talking about in therapy. <laughs> the idea of, like, uh, for every successful author, there are a thousand who fail. And it's like, what does that mean? You know, what does that mean to fail as an author? And I feel like it's such a limiting... Here's the thing. The things that people say about others are things that people say about themselves. Like... Someone who is very judgmental of others is someone who is very judgmental of themselves. When you stop judging others, you will stop judging yourself. Because like, if you're like looking and you're like, wow, they tried at something and they failed and I saw them fail. Like how embarrassing? No, that's incredible. They tried something. They went out and they did something. Like that's fucking incredible. I don't know, this is a whole other tangent. What are we talking about, Stardew Valley? Aren't I supposed to be giving gifts to people? Okay, who have we not given gifts to? And maybe let's try and find Marnie. Why not? Because we have, I think we have the sweet peas. Yeah, no, we don't have the sweet peas for it, so fuck you, Marnie. Of course, babe. Thanks, Alex, bye. Okay, I don't know what else to do today, so we're just gonna go to sleep. 7.20, I, I have like no energy. I'm just going to bed. I was watching Thurm, I think, play like Perfection or whatever. And he got to the end of the day, he was like, yeah, I don't have anything else to do today. And instead of just like being like, well, I've got so much daylight left to spend and like, I have energy. He was just like, I'm going to sleep, bye. And like went to sleep. I should have stayed awake more and sold. Whatever, that's fine. Traveling cart day, so let's go there. Wow, nothing. Mom's making lentil soup tonight. Why is he crying about this? Hey, you. Vincent is allergic to lentils and legumes, and his mother is like an anti-vaxxer who like doesn't believe in allergies. She's like, actually, I'll just slowly expose you to the allergen and eventually you won't be allergic. That's how that works. I'm a scientist. Cool. Let's work in the ice cream stand. See, here's the thing. How old is Alex? Mia has been telling me about her latest art products. They sound fascinating. Some of them she likes to keep secret until they are finished, though. I quite understand. No lie, I really like Elliot now. I don't really like it, but I'm like, I'm excited to see where his story goes because he seems like someone who 
is having like very relatable struggles for me, you know? I wonder what Alex is doing today. Bitch, look, look over here. I think everyone should have at least two love interests in Stardew Valley, you know? Every NPC should be interested in at least two people so that when you marry one of them, they can still have a relation. Cause I just feel bad. Like you marry Harvey and Maru lives out her life as a lonely spinster, which isn't saying that like being single cannot be a very rewarding lifestyle. It is, it can be totally. I'm more just mean like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Especially if they make up plot points, like Alex and Haley are clearly like into each other. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the cloud garden. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. So true, bestie. Oh, right. My geodes. She's a reader. I like how she's like, I love to help with the public gardens and then goes to the fucking museum. She like goes to the thing, throws a couple things of mulch down. She's like, mm, wow, I'm so helpful. Like work in this dress, babe. At the bus stop working a few years ago, Mayor says there's not enough money in the town coffers or else he'd have it fixed. Yeah, Mayor Lewis is a piece of shit. <laughs> if you if you didn't know, now you know. Ugh, he's so hot. Look at him with that beard. God. I love that the diverse Sardi Valley mod just makes everyone like, gives them like, make him, makes him a little grungier, makes him have some self-expression, and I like fucking love it. Let's fish a little bit more because we're almost at level five fishing. A rainbow trout and we level up, let's go. Okay, what was in our little chesty poo? Two geodes. Too bad it's 350 so I can't go and get them processed. Lame, I'll get them tomorrow. Okay, I'm bored with fishing. Um, I caught two fish and uh, now I am bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house and in, in the house, in the house, I'm motherfucking bored. Maybe we'll make this air. We could make this area like a secondary growing area maybe. Or maybe we can make this area. I, I would like to make this area maybe a growing area. And like have a bunch of shit all along the the, the river and stuff. I think this will be animal land. We'll put like a coop up here. I don't know if we'll be able to put the barn up here, but we can definitely put a silo up here. Maybe we can put the barn down here. Barn down here, you know, coop up here. Maybe instead of a secondary farm area over by that lake, we'll put like, we'll make all of this a farm area and we'll make that like a tree farm. What's over here? Okay. So this is how you get to the right. Okay, so that's how you get to the shrine. I'd like to make a nice farm, right? Because that's, if there's one way to get a suitor, it's to have a nice farm. And I, as I said, the goal of this playthrough is after a hundred days to be married to one of the people that, uh, one of the bachelors of enemies to lovers, and also have a nice looking farm. That's totally what I said. Oh, what? You're saying that I didn't say that originally? You're a fucking liar. I remember what I said clearly. That's why at the beginning of this episode, I said we're not going back because I don't remember what I said. So I'm so excited to stream later today. You know, I know that uh, I know that people, there were a lot of people who commented on a post and were like, oh no, I'm so sad that you're gonna be streaming on Twitch. I don't like Twitch, whatever. But like, here's the thing. That was a good moment for me, just like in terms of like self growth or whatever. In that moment, I chose to prioritize my own happiness. Honestly, before I was like, if I had to stream, I'd be like, Fuck, I have to stream. And I was, and I, and I kind of was justifying my like bleh attitude about it. Cause I was like, well, it's basically work, right? You know, this is like my job now. It's stupid. If you like, I understand accepting a little bit of like not enjoying your job. That is fair. That is, in fact, that is reasonable and realistic. But like, if it makes you actively upset, if you dread, get a new job, babes. That's my, that's my, hey, think of quitting your job, do it. Find another job first though. Here's the thing, if you if you die, you know what the, you know what's, you know what your job's gonna do? Send out an email and start looking for your replacement. Anyways, uh, it's Saturday. It's a Saturday. Harvest day. I guess today, the theme of today's episode is me um, giving motivational speeches. <laughs> it's because I had therapy today. Okay, so I have to give one to Summer Crops and then I should gift one. Well, actually I can't gift it to Shane, can I? Yeah, because I've given both of his gifts this week. 
Look at all this money, rich, loaded. I'm gonna go buy a silo. Let's get our silo. Did I not pick the fruit bats? I feel like I have not seen a single piece of fruit in here. Am I missing something? I have definitely, oh, is it 25 gold? Is that when you get the bat? I've really just been shooting the shit and not doing it. <laughs> this is, in terms of money made, not my most successful playthrough. But that's okay. That's okay. That's not what this playthrough's about. This playthrough's about having fun. And like love. Mother fucker! Y'all knew it. Y'all knew it. Y'all were watching me. They're being like, oh, that's not right, bud. And I'm like, do do do. It's time to go get the silo. And you're like, no, it's not. Because you don't have all the things. This is the pain of hearing your podcast. And the podcast host can't remember the name of an, of an actor and you are screaming the name of the actor at them. You are yelling at them in your mind, of course, or out loud if you want, if you're home alone, of course, or if you're home, period, you know. Or honestly, if you're on the public, whatever, who the, who the fuck cares, okay? It is 2022, the world's falling apart. Yell at podcast hosts in public, okay? Train's passing through Stardew Valley. Great. Again, see, I'm like, I'm at the town. It's gonna take me forever to get there. I have other shit to do. I can't just drop everything and go run for a train. I don't think I've ever actually gotten anything off a train other than like coal. Hey, Maru, look at this ass. Look at this ass. Look at this ass, 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 ass. And she's like, I'm trying to do science. I still have a shit luck today. Should I go to the mines? It's 2022. The world's falling apart. Go to the mines when you have shit luck. We're gonna bring some salmon berries for health and such. Okay. Supposedly a bad luck day, but I just found a ladder, so. Um. Am I reading this wrong? Okay. It's like a pretty good day to me. Maybe this felt bad for me. Oh my gosh, so many enemies. Okay, fuck all y'all. Bye. That was a sticky situation. It was as though I had fallen into goo that's famously sticky because that was a pretty sticky situation. I needed some goo be gone for that sticky situation. Be the goo be gone that you want to see in the world and get rid of that goo, okay? It's 540. Let's keep going. We made it to the we made it to floor 50 45. Why not keep going, you know? Why not? Two seconds later. This is the floor that the um, unluck, unluckiness is, it's really showing its its whole head. It's showing me the unlucky hole. Ah! Why? What is <laughs> Why are there all these bats? Jesus Christ, it's like I'm going through the fucking, the tunnel that you go through after Pewter City. And these are all zoo bats. And they're all just coming after me. What the fuck? Why are there so many? Okay. Um, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Nope. This isn't worth it anymore. This isn't worth it anymore. All right. One more day. One more day. All right. Oh, there we go. This is what I want. Give me the fruit, Demetrius. Give me the fruit. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do the bats. Obviously. We. Oh, we have to watch Queen of Sauce. Queen of Sauce. Look at her flying through the sky. It's the queen of sauce and she's going by. She's teaching us about to make big fish. Two cats go bananas and sick and chef. Incredible work, keep it up. Wow, I can't believe I have two hearts with Pierre. I don't think I've ever gotten that a high of friendship with Pierre, what the fuck? I really need to kick it into high gear. I'm getting anxious about the idea of trying to marry one of these people before 100 days, because here's the thing, <clears throat> the person who I have like the highest shot of like actually marrying is Shane. And um, I don't really want to marry Shane. So I'm like, okay, how do I get anyone else close enough? You know? Hey, sexy boy. I've done any of them, but like, but I don't like the idea of some weirdo. What the fuck, Alex? Oh my God. Not this. Not that. I'm done. I'm done. Mm -mm. No more. Alex is himbo, but now actively harmful. Wow. I can't get over that Alex says that. Like, what the fuck kind of a, like, uh, so messed up. Like, am I going, like, am I, am I, am I, am I wild for that? Or like, 
I'm sorry, that's messed up. Like, don't, what? A brown smudge. So he just throws them away. Everyone gets a sweet the bee. So you're still not bored with that farm? Sure, okay, me to you. Okay, I fucking will, thanks. Ugh, I almost don't want to give this to him. That's cool, thanks. Yeah, okay, you're an asshole. Hey, wait, I have something for you. I have something for you. Um, no problem. Okay, are we besties? No, nope. but we're close. <gasps> Nami, three hearts with Haley, Alex, and Penny. Okay, I am so powerful. I am so powerful beyond belief. Why is Abigail always so goddamn impossible to find? Like, what, what is she doing? I know that's your dad, but like, Jesus. So I'm a simple man. I see bubbles. I say I need to I need to fish there. Hopefully Haley is on the move back. Hi, Grumpy. Okay, kind of hot though. <laughs> I've been walking all the way over here for fucking rock eater. She's probably going to try and eat this flower. How'd you know I was hungry? What did I say? She's going to try and eat the flower. Why are you always trying to eat things that I give you? Let's go chop some these nuts. This woman hammers once every like eight minutes. Wild. All right. Not quite enough, but that's okay. All right. Well, that's another week of Stardew Valley. I'm going to try and do these a little bit more often because I'm also going to try to make like two videos a week from now on. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, until then, stay cute, stay hydrated, all those things. Um, of course, you know, stay you. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.